morning friends and happy Friday I am headed out right now to go get my nails done I had actually canceled my appointment that I had on Monday and reschedule it for today because I just wasn't feeling it Monday and I just I just needed to take some time like off to decompress um, on Monday and I actually kind of did it the, the whole week and uh, I've actually been trying to work on things around my house and just trying to get caught up from us being gone last week and then um, I was also trying to film videos for this week as well so and I actually put up my Halloween home tour up the other day <clears throat> Um, and then like now today, I am going to go get my nails done and they definitely, desperately, desperately need, um, done. Um, I have just my little Mickey Mouse, uh, t-shirt on another shirt that I will be wearing when we go to Disney in a few weeks and, uh, and then just a pair of like yoga pants and some tennis shoes, which I always forget, like, you know, I can't wear jeans when I go to, um, the nail place because I get my legs done or well my feet and they do the whole leg part too but anyway so I just didn't realize I can't wear my jeans they have to roll up so I have to wear yoga pants I was probably to explain so much stuff to you that you guys didn't even really care about hearing and then after I get my nails done I am going to run into Publix really quick and get a cucumber because I saw this really um, cool recipe on Facebook the other day yesterday and I actually want to try this recipe so all I basically need is some cucumber and uh, I'm gonna try that when I get home it's just like a nice little like I would say healthy snack um, actually I might pick up another can of crab meat as well because I have to have crab meat I have a can I just want to get a fresher can and then right before I walked out of the house this is like not good at all um, the bats that I had put on my wall in my dining room, when you peel those little bats off, they peel off the paint. And Brian's like, I bet you they're gonna peel off the paint. I bet you, I'm like, no, 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 they're not gonna peel off the paint. They shouldn't, that's not, these things are just little teeny tiny sticky things and they shouldn't peel off the paint at all. It peeled off the paint so I'll show you guys that when I get home so just be aware if you guys buy those bats they're gonna peel off paint I'm actually I'm actually like floored that it peeled off the paint that is like a Sherwin Williams paint and trust me I know that their paint in this house even though it is Sherwin Williams they did a not even a semi gloss they did a flat color all throughout the house and it's just a lot easier to do stuff like take stuff off the wall like that if it's like a semi-gloss or gloss and it's easier to wipe off it's easier to wipe down but they just didn't do all that so once I get home I will show you guys what I'm talking about so now I have to take all my little bats off of the wall and in any spots that the paint came off which again I'll show you when I get home I have to take the extra paint that is left over and touch it up so that's what I'm gonna have to do not gonna be fun Brian was having a come apart uh, he's like oh my god they told you oh my god I'm like calm down it's fixable you can fix this we can fix this I can fix this we'll fix it <laughs> it is fixable uh, it just does make me mad because I like loved my bath and I was so convinced that they would be fine and they wouldn't peel off and all right, I'm talking way too much about the bats. I'll show you guys that when I get home. It's a nightmare, but anyway, it's fixable. Alrighty, so I went and got my nails done. I actually skipped my pedicure today because I just just wasn't feeling like sitting there forever. Um, so I actually made another appointment because I always make an appointment anyway. So I made another appointment and my next appointment is going to be October 30th, which is the day before we leave for our Disney vacation. And uh, I just put gas in my car and now I'm headed to Publix uh, to get some food. I'm almost out of my Coke Classic Zeros and some 7-Up. So I'm going to grab that and I need to pick up a pie crust because I'm going to attempt. 
I'm going to attempt to, I made chicken noodle soup the other day. So the chicken noodle soup that I made, I'm actually going to drain it and I'm actually going to see if I can turn it into a hot pie and put it like in a pie crust and then put the other, the crust on top of it. We're going to see. We're going to see if it's going to work. I not thinking that it might because it might be like too runny or something it's not going to be creamy enough but i'm thinking if i add something creamy to creamy it up <laughs> so technical um that i might be able to make it work so if i buy like some cream of chicken soup or something and just kind of mix it all in there that might work so going to Publix to see if I can do that and then picking up a few other things because I'm like in the mood to make my own pizza like I want to make a pizza just fun and then there was something else I wanted to do too oh and I wanted to make like meatball sandwiches that is so fun and like this weekend is going to be like an indoor weekend anyway because it's going to be nothing but crappy and rainy like right now it's crappy it's not raining yet but it's drizzly um so I know we're gonna be indoors like majority of this weekend. So I just want to get that stuff done. So yeah. And then Sunday I actually have a lunch, a luncheon with my friend. Um, uh, when I lived here before, obviously, um, I made friends. I know it happens, right? Anyway, um, uh, I used to work with her at the doctor's office. Anyway, she and I are gonna have lunch today, or not today. Oh my god, she and I are gonna have lunch on Sunday. So I'm gonna meet her on a bridge street. We're gonna have lunch and my battery is flashing that it's dying. And so I'm gonna go to Publix and then I'm gonna go home and I'll show you guys the stuff that I picked up at Publix. Alrighty, so I am back and I wanted to quickly show you guys what I picked up at Publix. I picked up some Doritos because I love having just some potato chips with a sandwich. I picked this bread up because I love brioche bread for a sandwich. I picked up these white uh, tortillas for tacos. Um, I was out of the elbow macaroni, so I picked that up. I picked up four of the cream of chicken because I'm going to try to add this to my chicken pot pie for tonight. I have crab meat that I'm going to make uh, with that little recipe that I found. And this actually calls for it as well, so it's going to be like sriracha the mayo the cucumber and then avocado which I already have and then I picked up two things of Publix light brown sugar because I used the last little bit of my brown sugar the other day when I made cookies I picked up this Borson garlic and fine herbs cheese for these little bagel crisps that I have in the pantry I picked up some general Tso's chicken because we love just eating this with some rice I picked up some bottom round steak, a cucumber, some shredded cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, and then these are going to be the pie crust that I use to make my pot pie for this evening. And now I'm going to wash my hands and have some lunch and put this stuff away and get started with my pot pie. So Brian and I actually just got back. We, as soon as I got home, I finished my lunch. We, excuse me, left. And I was an unplanned event for us today. Um, when I got home, he said, let's go to the courthouse and get married. No, I was joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, no, he said, let's go to the courthouse and let's get my truck registered because I didn't get to get his truck registered when I did the Explorer because he had to be there because it's a titled vehicle. And then um, we got, we, we claimed homestead on this house because that's what you do here in Alabama. I don't know if you do that every place. I think it's just here in Alabama. Could be wrong. And then um, we dropped off a car body, RC car body to some guy so he could paint it for Brian. And then we just went and got a bite to eat. So it is four o'clock and I'm just now getting home and figuring out this pot pie thing that I'm gonna try to make. So basically what I did is that I took the soup that I made the other day and I'm draining it right now, which is right here, it's in the sink draining. And then I have my cream of chicken soup that I'm gonna use here to kind of like thicken it up, make it more thick. 
if that makes any sense. And then I have my pie crusts right here that I'm actually gonna put one inside of here and then I'm gonna pour the stuff inside and then I'll put the other pie crust on top. So it kind of is gonna look like this when I am done. So kind of like Popeye-ish. I'm hoping it turns out, I'm guessing I'm just throwing this out there. It may or may not work. I've never done this before, but I just thought I might give it a try. Obviously, we won't be eating this tonight because we just had something to eat, um, but I can actually get this done and made and then pop it in the oven tomorrow so that it's something that we can have for dinner tomorrow or something. So that is what I'm gonna do. And then after I'm finished, I'm gonna clean up the kitchen. And then, call it a night really because we're gonna be upstairs watching tv because it's a crappy evening chilly outside and yeah another good thing we have neighbors now that live next door in the house next door they just moved in today oh my phone and it keeps doing that i keep getting these like potential spam calls which i'm glad they're p potential spam oh and verizon said they're gonna start yeah that's what it is that's why they hang up right away because uh interesting never mind just never mind me let's work on this pot pie alrighty so now I just mix the soup up with the chicken or cream of chicken soup and it's actually looking pretty good it's actually looking pretty pretty good close to what a pot pie would look like on the inside and now I'm actually gonna go ahead and put all of this stuff inside of the pie dish So that's it. I was trying to like get real fancy with it and kind of pinch it on the sides, but that didn't turn out too well. But anyway, I think that's what I'm gonna leave it as for now. And then I'll be able to pop it in the oven tomorrow. But I did cut these because, so it could breathe. So let's hope that it turns out good. It looks good. And that's what I have left over. I couldn't fit all that in there. Not very much left over though. Good morning, friends, and happy Saturday. Today is gonna be one of those lazy days at home because it's supposed to rain all day long. And um, we're like right on the verge of it starting, getting ready to start. And it's the remnants from Hurricane Delta that hit down in Louisiana. And that poor state has really had it rough with the hurricanes this year. And hurricane season isn't even over yet, according to Ginger Z on GMA. <laughs> So oh, just like hope that there's no more because like 2020 is like it and I'm sure these people are over it as well. Um, today, but we are going to be staying home today. I think Brian has to run to Verizon really quick because he had an update on his phone and it wiped out all of his emails from work. So he needs to kind of get that restored. Um, but for the most part, we're going to be home today um, doing my normal thing. I just threw some towels in the washing machine. That was something I was going to do yesterday, but because I was out most of the day yesterday running around, I didn't get anything done around the house. So, so that stuff was um, thrown in the washing machine today. And then um, I have clothes in the dryer that I'm going to pull out in just a second as soon as I make up my bed and then get those folded up and... Yeah, it's just going to be a normal Saturday, boring Saturday. I was hoping like a Harry Potter marathon would be on or something, but it's not. It's Divergent, which is that is fine too. I just prefer Harry Potter because uh, it kind of just gets me in the Harry Potter mood and gets me excited for a trip in a couple of weeks. Um, but anyway, other than that, that's about it chicken pot pie going in today that's what I'm gonna be putting in the oven that's what we're gonna be having for dinner tonight so I'm super excited about that and trying that and seeing how well that that worked out 
Uh, other than that, that's about it. So hopefully you guys will want to hang out with us today. We're going to be hanging a shelf in the pantry. Um, who knows what else we're going to get ourselves into today. But all I know is today is going to be one of those days where we're going to be in the house because it's going to be raining all day. So, yeah. So, Saturday, stay at home vlog. Bye. I decided to make some brownies this afternoon and these are my favorite brownies to make which is the Betty Crocker Delights Salted Caramel Brownie Mix. And if I'm gonna say I any brownies, these are the best ones I've ever, ever had and the best ones I've ever made. But I'm just currently waiting for the oven to preheat and then these bad boys are gonna go in there. I got a mess over here on the side, but whatever. Can't always be perfect with the brownies. So I'm just going to let them sit here and cool for a little while. And then I'll cut them in squares and place them in a little dish that I'll leave on the counter here. Kind of like the cookies that I have right there. So brownies are done. And they look delicious. So before I forget to show you in this vlog, here are the bats that are in my dining room. And if you guys can see, right there is where one of the bats came off and it pulled the paint off the wall. That's what Brian was freaking out about. But he told me just to let it stay here until the end of the bat season and then we will take them all off as carefully as possible and then we will fix the hole or the paint spots that are missing. So disappointing. I love my bats, but I think I'm just going to do them like differently from now on. Like I'll put them on this thing and you know, maybe on the pictures or maybe like on the trim, but not on the paint because that was a bad idea. Alrighty. So I actually have my pot pie in here and it's actually looking really, really good. Oh, I can actually hear it too. Oh my gosh. So once the top gets a little bit more brown and crispier, then it'll be definitely ready to eat. But right now we are just upstairs watching the Georgia game. And uh, then tonight we'll watch the Alabama game, my broom. I was sweeping the floor and then I got sidetracked and put it over there because I need to sweep that up and put it away. Oh my gosh, it's still raining out here. Oh, still raining. That is crazy with the rain. You guys can see, I don't know if you guys can or not, but like that tree is changing colors. It is so pretty. And eventually all of these will be changed as well and it'll just look so pretty out here. So pretty. We're getting so much rain. You can see it's like going down all the way through here and then all the way down to the drain. It's doing its job, that's for sure. All right, so there it is. It looks so good. It was actually starting to boil off of the top, bubble out of the sides, and it actually kind of got a little bit in my oven, so I'm gonna have to wipe that down. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this looks really, really good, and I'm, ready to try some all right so that's what the inside of it looks like which looks amazing it looks so good and right here this is brian's and mine just put a little salt and pepper on it and we are going to be good to go this looks so good i mean i already know the soup was good i just want to know like how it tastes with the cream of chicken and the pie crust and stuff so we'll have to give it a try like, I know it's gonna be hot. So I'm trying to like. <laughs> My skin cold. Oh, that's, that's really good. And it tastes like a real pot pie. That's really, really good. Do you wanna try? 
like very hot. Yeah, I put pepper on mine. It's really good though. You have to like tell us what you think, dude. You're putting salt on it too. This isn't enough. Well, just eat. Take a bite first, and you can fill your bowl up, Mister. That's not enough. Wait, take a bite first. See, the thing is, you're getting all the stuff that's on the inside. That's what I want. No, but you're taking it away from all the inside of the pie. Okay, no. No! That's too much. Okay, that's good. Thank you. I guess he's not going to tell you what he likes, what he thinks. Rude. Alrighty guys, so it is five o'clock and we have about another hour and a half before the Alabama game starts. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog tomorrow or not. I'm actually meeting a friend tomorrow for lunch. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. It is still pouring down rain. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me the past couple of days or yesterday and today. I don't remember. Anyway, thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.